And lastly, I would like to actually uh, talk about uh, remote and virtual labs. You'd be thinking because EIT is offering uh, courses fully online and also on campus. So how would you teach the laboratory experiments to the online students? So this is all about that. I'm gonna actually show you how remote and virtual laboratories are so integral part of EIT's uh, backbone structure, uh, which enables us to run fully online courses and giving the same experience to online students as, 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 as we give to the traditional students who are coming on campus in Australia, in our Perth or Melbourne campus. So let me talk about that in a moment. <clears throat> So, uh, maybe the slide changes now. <clears throat> yep, so we have at EIT, we have remote and virtual labs. Uh, so these virtual labs or remote labs are actually installed in Western Australia, South Africa, and these can be a accessed through from anywhere in the world. Doesn't matter where, where you are, what time it is. In, in the night time, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., if you like to do a certain laboratory experiment from your location, you can do it. You just need to reserve a, you know, a lab slot. You log into that and you can operate you know, some of these physical equipment. Sometimes you can do some remote uh, access uh, type of uh, equipment, and sometimes you do virtual uh, experiments. Depending on what you are uh, what you are doing in your particular subject or your course, you could access those remote lab equipment. So let me actually show you some of these examples. So uh, before I actually go into that, I would like to actually show you some of this traditional learning experience, right? Uh, in a normal laboratory type of uh, environment when you are studying on campus, what students are doing, they would be actually doing a range of hands-on laboratory experiments, which we offer to all these students coming to Australia in our Perth or Melbourne campus. So here you can see some students doing some surveying experiment, some air conditioning rigs uh, being uh, taught. Then you can see a PLC. Then there is the pneumat hydraulic pneumatic rigs, which students usually uh, work on. To, to conduct some experiments. And here you can see some civil engineering lab testings going on, some concrete being mixed and tested on a tensile or compressive testing machines. All of these are traditional laboratories, which are obviously when you join the campus on campus courses, you would be doing these experiments hands-on. But imagine if you like to do a part of the course or maybe fully online course, how would you interact with this equipment? How would you learn these basic concepts of these laboratory experiments? So let me show you now how we actually break it down in a digestible way, remotely accessible, uh, so that you could do, doesn't matter where you are, you can learn everything which is possible in a traditional way. So there are three basic types. Uh, first one, is simulated experiments. Some of these experiments are available in terms of fully simulation. So for example, the student here on a computer is actually simulating an industry visit into a refinery. They can literally go into this 3D space of a refinery. They can see a number of components. They can even measure the temperature, the pressure of the pipeline and some of these walls they can operate and so on. All of this is called simulated experiments. So that's number one. Number two, converting traditional experiments into some recorded interactive experiments. I will show you some examples of that in a moment. And third, we convert traditional experiments into remotely operated or remotely accessed experiments. So let me show you. So simulated, I just showed you here. You just use the computer. There are no physical rig involved and you just do fully simulation based experiments, right? Let's go to the next. So the next one we have is a simulated experiments. Uh, so this is actually a simulated experiment one where you don't need a physical rig. So I have one more example of that. So here you can see an electrical isolation simulation. So literally you go in, into and sign into a remote lab and you can select number of components needed for isolation. You can literally, you can have a feel of real experiments. You, you can open the cabinet, 
see the wiring and play with the wiring and then you know perform electrical isolation so the level of interaction even in the fully simulation simulated experiments is really incredible so that's that and then go to the next bit which is recorded interactive experiment so some of these experiments uh, are not fully available in the simulation form in that case what we would do you would record certain videos of a rig for example there is a hydraulic experiment rig we actually record the video but that video is not just available to watch you can basically interact with that interactive video what students would normally do is they go into that particular experimental page experiment page they can do some you know some reading some some interactive h5p type of activities two false type of questions fill in the blanks mcqs and then they start identifying components of the system so each and every component you can identify you can zoom over and you can you can put your cursor over it may show you what component it is so all the components are identified you can even drag and drop components uh, into a quiz format which is shown here so here it helps you identify the components very very easily and then next bit of the video would ask, explain you the circuit connections circuit operations they would also explain you how a software can simulate certain experiment in that particular laboratory environment and, 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 and all of these instructions are provided. So it's a step-by-step -step process. You would feel like you have learned it from scratch, the theory, the practical, the component identification, the simulation, and the actual operation of the ring. So that's all possible uh, in that type of environment. <clears throat> all right, so here you can see, you know, I'm just showing you more pictures of the same simulated uh, recorded interactive uh, experiments. So here you can see, you know, all the connections. You can even measure what's the pressure value on the gauge, and you can input that value into your experimental lab report, and you can do further calculations as well. So all of this is possible in recorded interactive experiments, which are converted from a traditional experiment to recorded one. So that's that. And moving to the next one. So this is just the third page showing you how you can do you know, simulation on a hydraulic circuit, uh, which is basically simulating the same circuit on a, on, a, on a software and compare it with the actual physical rig on which you just watch the video and did some interactive exercise. So that's really, really incredible stuff we have developed. And finally, the third type is converting a traditional lab into a remotely accessible labs. So remotely accessible lab. So for example, we have this huge uh, production line training systems, which you can see. And uh, these entire production line system is a huge machine and you can actually operate it, control it remotely from anywhere in the world. So we have some cameras fitted in it. You can see some cameras fitted everywhere on the rig. And uh, there are some buttons, some physical buttons, but you don't need to be here. You can simply use your computer to select your parameters, select your type of components you like to move in this production assembly line. And with the camera on, on one of the windows, you can see if your machine is operating as per your instructions. For example, uh, in this one, the interface screen, screen would actually show you what type of, uh, you know, uh, sorting of the products you like. You like to black color and a white ring on top or black, black on black or white and black. And all of these things are assembled in this production line. It shows you a particular way of sorting things from a group of uh, components, and it would lead you to a particular assembly. So the assembly line would go step by step, step one, step two. There are a number of actuators and control walls which would pick up the component from here, moving it in that direction. And at the very end, you would be able to see all the control operations. And at the end, if you selected earlier that I want a white disk assembled on a black disk and it would do it perfectly as you commanded earlier. You can see the entire production line live under your control remotely anywhere in the world and any time you want. That's the beauty of our remotely accessible labs of our some of the equipment and, and labs including production line training system which I just showed.